I said, you know what, if there was one thing I could be, uh, I'd be a butthole. And you know, the kids, they laughing. Oh, oh, oh a butthole, why, why would you be a butthole? That's crazy. And in my head, I'm like, I'm serious. Like, who would want to grow up and be a butthole, right? And I told him, I say, well, you know, I want to be a, a, a butthole because I don't have to, I wouldn't have to as much crap as I would have to deal with. At the end of the day, I'm always getting rid of all of the crap in my life. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am doing the fried chicken with my sweet and sour sauce with my fried rice from my favorite Chinese restaurant, Chopsticks, of course. Um, there was actually a, a challenge put out to actually do this. I actually saw a post on uh, an Instagram post from Eat With Q um, about doing this challenge. So, I said, you know what? Regardless of the promo and all of that other stuff, um, I was actually thinking about doing something like this, but I was, I, I was like, I didn't know when, right? So, I was like, you know what? It was on my mind. It popped up. It must be meant for me to do it. So, here we go, guys. Now, I actually have a funny story um, for you guys. And I haven't told uh, many people this outside of my family, but uh, when I was younger, they used to have a lot of job fairs, um, like at the school and stuff. And, you know, you have even the, the, the kids' parents would come out and uh, talk about what they did, what their jobs were. You know, my parents did the same thing. And, um, you know, it's cool. You know, you got your doctors, your teachers, uh, your lawyers. I mean, you know, all the way down to your postman, bookkeepers. It was all these different positions, right? But as a child... Well, let me say, as me being a child, <laughs> um, my thought process was a little different. Um, what I noticed is that a lot of people uh, who were in my grade class, I would say about third grade, second or third grade, they all they were already stating, you know, like what they want to do. Like, I want to be a doctor or I want to be a football player. You know, I want to do all of this stuff. I want to be famous. I want to be an actor. I want to be an actress. And I'm like, ah, that's cool, man, you know? That people are already thinking like that at such a young age. So, I kind of felt bad because I wasn't thinking like that. I kind of felt like I'm actually thinking like a kid, you know what I'm saying? But even at that young age, it kind of made me feel like maybe I was immature. So I kind of cast it aside. And when they asked what you want to do, I want to be a doctor too. You know, it's easy to say that. But I used to write down in this notepad all the things I want to do. You know, I started out at first, I wanted to be a superhero. You know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be Superman. Because, you know, at that time, I felt like Superman couldn't do no wrong. He spent his whole life, you know, hiding behind what he thought people wouldn't understand in order to protect them. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like what I did. I felt like not saying what I wanted to really be when I grew up. Uh, it's just kind of going with the flow and kind of protect 
people, including myself, uh, from being judged, from being different, from wanting to do different things. So, um, it's funny because um, it happened, I think, when I was in like fifth grade that I actually was able to say, hey, this is what I want to be when I grow up. So, I was at a party and uh, they had a clown for the birthday party. Most people, fifth grade, 10, 11 years old, they over the clown thing. You know what I'm saying? That, that don't excite them really. Um, a lot of people weren't big on it, but, you know, I, I like clowns. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, from the good ones to the bad ones, the scary ones, I was into that. So, I went to this party, fifth grade party, um, and it was one of my uh, one of my friend girls. Uh, she was having a party. It's like a lot of a lot of young white girls or whatever, um, white boys, and you know I hung with a lot of them when I was younger. You know what I mean? Uh, but I was like, man, it was like, well, what do you want to be? You know, we were talking in a group, and it was like, oh, uh, if you could be anything in the world, what would you be? You know, you got one person like, I'd be invisible, you know, or oh, I'd be a supermodel, I'd be this. So I'm like, all right, well, I mean, everybody's talking about crazy stuff. So I can just say mine. And then even if, if people say, oh, man, that's cool, then I know it's acceptable. But if they just laugh, then I'm like, all right, they just think I'm playing the game, you know? Um, so they asked me. So, if you could be one thing in the world, what would you be? So, I said, I said, you know what, well, if there's one thing I could be, uh, I'd be a butthole. You know, the kids, they laughing. Oh, 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 a butthole. Why, why would you be a butthole? That's crazy. And in my head, I'm like, I'm serious. Like, who would want to grow up and be a butthole, right? And I told him, I say, well, you know, I want to be a, a, a butthole because I don't have to, I wouldn't have to, as much crap as I have to deal with. At the end of the day, I'm always getting rid of all of the crap in my life. And as a kid, you know, you deal with different frustrations as a child. Um, you know what I'm saying? For me, it was just more so, you know, I wasn't really the cool kid when I was little. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, if you could wake up every day and start over, do something different. So I'm like, man, if you a butthole, you just get rid of shit every day and start fresh. You can decide. <laughs> it's almost like you can decide when and where to just say, I'm done with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And just let it go. And uh, they laughed, and he was like, that's crazy, that's funny, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I got in trouble for it when I got home. Um, but I think that was some of the best sleep I've ever had, because I was like, people, it was cool after that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was cool after that. It was, it was funny, it was really funny. Uh, and um, I remember I, 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 we had to do a children's book, kind of like a children's book idea and read it in front of the class. And uh, I did the same thing when they said, okay, we'll write a story, but make it into a joke. And I wrote a story uh, about a dog I had uh, called, uh, I th what the dog, I think it was, it was like, um, the dog was called, okay, so the dog was called Booty Itch, right? So I say it fast so people didn't really catch it. So I gave the story, it was like, I'm going around with flyers, I lost my dog, I lost my dog, I'm going around with flyers, and I'm posting them up, posting them up. Anybody see my dog? Anybody see my dog? Nobody seen him. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. And the guy walks up to me. This is a book I'm reading, guys, in elementary. Oh, my goodness. I'm crying. Oh, my poor booty. The guy's like, what's wrong? I'm like, my poor booty itch. My poor booty itch. My poor booty itch. He was like, huh? What, what do you mean? He was like, my poor booty itch. And I'm crying. My poor booty itch. He was like, well, scratch it then. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> and I said this in class, and it was like a pause. The first pause was, I think, for everybody to see if the teacher was going to be like, oh, my goodness. 
But then when the teacher kind of like gave a little giggle, everybody burst out laughing, right? It was, it was the craziest thing. And from that point on, I became, I became that butthole, kind of. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, ne I'm never stressed. Like, like, guys, I'm seriously, I'm never stressed. I'm always in a good mood. I, I mean, people who know me can tell me, like, I'm always in a mood, but I'm always cracking jokes. Uh, I'm always, I guess, the butthole of the joke, right? You know what I'm saying? What do they say? Like, the butt end of the joke? I mean, I guess, I don't know. But it was just so funny to me because it, it brought back so much, like, you say some things now, you gotta be careful what you say, you know, it can be taken so out of context, right? But that was like a turning point in my life. It was a funny turning point. It was a turning point in my life. And I'll never forget that. I mean, I'm telling you, I hope I find that book now. My poor booty itch. We'll scratch it there. I'm like, it's so funny as a kid, man. Like you grew up and you see it, it don't really make you laugh as much. But for me, it kills me inside because I know what it took for me to get to that point where I was uncomfortable enough to just say what was on my mind, man. You know what I'm saying? That was me. That was me. The butthole. So, even having a job, you know, doing what I love to do, I'm still able to be what I want to be. I'm still able to be that butthole. Every day, I just, if there's anything that bothered me that day, man, I dump that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I move on. New day, new shit to deal with. You know what I mean? Carry it for as long as you need to carry it and let it go. You know what I'm saying? So, you guys can learn from that. You know what I'm saying? And, and just apply it to your everyday life. Things don't have to always be so technical to matter. That's just me. So, you guys have heard my embarrassing story. And uh, I'm actually okay with it. <laughs> So, I'm going to let y'all go on that note. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Comment below. Let me know if you guys have an embarrassing moment. I would love to hear it. Until then, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.